Chuck Tingle's complete guide. Bikes. Long time ago, there were cave buckaroos trying around, hitting things with sticks, and trying to get their square rocks to roll down the hill. This was the way of the world on this timeline for generations until finally some cave bud Albert Einstein said, What the heck? Why not just use a circle rock instead? Soon enough, everybody is rolling around on wheels. But it took way too much to balance on a single one. Everyone said, Let's leave the dang unicycles for the clowns at Clown Lake. It's time to get serious. Now you got everyone rolling around on bugs, making their way from town to town, just waving and having a great time. Bicycles come in all shapes and sizes. Whether you are looking for a handsome bearded bike who can climb mountains and fish for logs, or a road bike that wears dark sunglasses and hangs out in a cool urban setting, just drinking his chocolate milk at the bar. Some folks like to ride bikes called fixies, which means they are connected to their machine, locked in like a dang cyborg, man and computer as one. While I understand this way seems pretty cool, it is also dangerous. If the machine part of your mind gets out of control and wants to jump off a cliff or maybe create dang sky's nest, like in the film Handsome Arnold, I have said I would be back, now I am back, how can I help you? So I would say no thanks to the Terminator bike for my name of Chuck. This brings up important point of safety. There are a range of injuries buckaroos can get on a bike, whether it's being transformed into a cybernetic organism in a horrific moment of bodily horror, or just falling off and hitting your dang head. Best way to stop this is to wear your dang helmet, buddy. That means official helmets from the store, not just a dang watermelon shell while you try to impress your buds after having too many chocolate milks at the neighborhood barbecue. Some buckaroos use bikes for their job to get from place to place, like in City of Apples, New York. Here the streets are difficult level obstacle course and are very dangerous. Some handsome cars have a tough time getting through, just too dang big, they get stuck in the ball pit or the spider web. But bike messengers use this important bicycle invention to make sure you get your flashlight package on time, and that's a guarantee. Of course, these are just the types of bikes that you pedal with your feet. Eventually, other kinds of bikes start to get invented and take the world by storm. Most notorious of these ways is the motorcycle, which we all know from films like Easy Rides, That Is My Way On The Road, and of course from my own personal dreams of a handsome unicorn biker with long hair that blows in the wind while I clutch tightly to his body and hold on tight. In similar way of pedal bikes, motorcycles have developed a culture that is all their own. Way of biker means wearing a leather jacket and hanging out at the pool hall, cracking balls, and putting rowdy tunes on the jukebox with your buds. It is considered a common bad boy way, and as romance author, I know this, which is why I have written about this way of motorbikers before. Like most hobbies, though, you can't tell everything about someone by the way they cruise around. And plenty of motorcycle riders don't have a bad boy way. They just want to get to work without having to deal with traffic and to be able to go off dang kick-ass jumps if they spot one on their way. As a man named Chuck, world's greatest author, I'm pretty dang good at a few things. Making spaghetti, writing tinglers, complimenting the neighborhood birds on the kind songs, but now it is time for me to admit, I only learned to ride a bike very recently. First I tried riding around with extra wheels, and that was pretty dang easy. But when they came off, I had a heck of a time, and I will admit, I fell in my share of bushes. Let's be honest, it's a difficult time riding around on just two wheels. Looks pretty dang easy from far away, but then you get up there and you think, Whoa, it takes a lot more balance than I thought. But I guess that is most things in life. Once you get up there, you find yourself thinking, Whoa, I need to balance my way. If I push too hard in one direction, then, then I'm just going to fall over. Maybe that's why bikes got so popular. Buckaroos knew that balance was important to consider. They also got the same important lesson that I did as a man named Chuck. When things get tough, 
and you don't know what to do. Instead of freezing up and stopping, you just gotta keep pushing. If you still up on a bike, you're gonna fall over. So even though life might seem like a scary journey, it's important to stay focused and keep going, buckaroo. Next thing you know, that balance is gonna get easier and easier to find. And soon enough, you'll be riding off in the dang sunset.